Hello everyone, um, we are Team Wien Luke, and our team members are Alex, Emmy, Eric, Luis, and Wuhi. And this is our project, which is the Wien Luke Museum Virtual Exhibit Project. So for this project, we have had the opportunity to work with the Wien Luke Museum in Seattle. The Wien Luke is a museum located in the International District that highlights the history and various stories of the Asian American community in the Pacific Northwest. Although they have reopened now, like many other museums, they were forced to close last year due to the current pandemic. And with the interaction between the museum and the community becoming much more difficult, we designed a virtual exhibit project to allow for community engagement, even while the museum was closed. First, here's a tra trailer video of our project. As introduced in our trailer, our project is a design for an interactive online sandbox experience that allows users to explore real life artifacts from the Wing Look Museum collection and use them to build their own custom virtual exhibits. Users will also have the option to share and connect with the community to view all the creations being made. The goal of this project is to create a new and unique museum experience that is remote and accessible from anywhere in the world. This virtual museum will also be able to increase community engagement by allowing expanded user interaction with the museum, even outside of the physical museum. The project also serves as an opportunity to support membership as it can be used as an additional membership benefit. Another requirement with this project was to make sure that the project was flexible enough to maintain relevance whenever the museum would be able to reopen like it has now. From discussions we had with our insightful stakeholders, we discovered that the main types of users who visit the Wing Lake Museum are teachers, community members, tourists, including local Washingtonians, and museum membership members. All our target audiences are interested in engaging in a learning process that the museum offers with its unique content. Additionally, many of our target users clearly wish to engage in community-minded activities. All this information remains as a key finding to help drive further ideation. For our research before developing our idea, we conducted a competitive analysis and user research focused conversations with people around us. In our competitive analysis, we found that several museums are releasing virtual experience options due to the pandemic. However, most museums are mostly using picture galleries and 360 degree street view virtual tours. Virtual museum content is relatively new and underdeveloped. Uh, furthermore, we decided to compose user interviews for our capstone project, which allowed us to discover further findings. We realized through these conversations that users loved interactive elements and learning about new things as their favorite part of visiting a museum. And our participants re reacted positively to the idea of interactable artifacts and customization when introduced to them as future ideas. And to our slight surprise, the majority of the participants preferred a virtual space on a website as compared to having an application on mobile devices. Okay, so for the next four slides, I'll be breaking down our project into four main features to showcase the general looks and feels. So here we see a picture of the main feature, the first main feature in the project, which is the ability to choose theme rooms and other additional templates. The reason for this feature is to let the users get creative and create the museum experience that they envision. Although the project is titled as virtual exhibits, the customization functionality isn't just limited to creating exhibits. 
It could also be a fun way to do interior decorations, showcase room builds, do storytelling, and more. On this slide, you can see a video loop of the prototype on how users can find, select, and store artifacts from the Wien Luc Museum's artifact collection. Another implementation that isn't shown in the video loop is the possibility to find artifacts based on categories and themes. Additionally, users will have the ability to add and create their own artifacts. Once a user selects their own artifact, they will be able to click and drag the artifact from the inventory bar on the bottom and drop it on their desired location. In this editor mode, users will also be able to click on the placed artifacts with the options to edit or add descriptions, along with the option to remove it. On this slide, we are showcasing how a user will open a ticket that was either shared by the user themselves or received by other creators, online community posts, or ex exhibits featured by the museum. The, t the ticket will include all kinds of ways to let visitors get access to the exhibit by using methods such as QR codes, short URL links, social media posts, and emails. Within all the tickets, there will be a preview of the exhibit's look along with the creator's username, exhibit description, creation date, and other additional information. Once the viewer finishes the preview, they will be able to fully explore the entire exhibit using the arrow keys or WASD keys to move around and click on artifacts to view description. All the interactable artifacts will have a pop-up description icon to show that it is interactable. And when we conducted the usability test for this project, a few new ideas emerged from the conversations between the participants. Those ideas weren't fully implemented due to the time constraints we had, but we did obtain three takeaways from conducting this test. The takeaways are the participants thought the project idea was a new and interesting approach to adding new museum content, and they really look forward to the final product. Some participants really like the customization features such as custom artifacts and themed rooms but they want further customizations by having the ability to freely change the room size and shape while having the ability to merge rooms together to create like a museum rather than a single standalone exhibit. And lastly, some participants wanted to have features where multiple users can collaborate together to work on the same exhibit or create a series of connected exhibits. A final important part we wanted to emphasize in the project is to create a community aspect that lets users to share and build their virtual exhibit experiences together. The community is also one of the pillars that make Wing Look Museum what it is today, as they consistently connect and promote the local community cultures, small businesses, and share stories about the local history as theaters, Chinatown, Chinatown area. That is why during the development of this project, one of the few things that we focused on is to create something that users can use to share in their own story in the form of a virtual exhibit, which is similar to Winglook's Your Story, Our Story platform for community members to share their stories. Other than the story aspect, there could be a web page that let users browse exhibit, build, and see exhibit features by, by the museum. Additionally, the community isn't just limited to the Winglook Museum members, since there is potential to create virtual collaboration exhibits between other museums, artists, and organizations. The next step with the project would be to use QR codes to connect the virtual museum to physical museum, add collaboration features, allow users to unload their own content to use in exhibits, cons consistent updates and evolution to keep continued engagement, AR and VR capabilities, 
and create virtual museum events. A special thanks to our stakeholders at Wingwork Museum who worked with us throughout the entire project. And that brings us to the end of our presentation. Thank you. Awesome. Great job. Um, so first question, is there any reason why this included, oh, sorry. Oh man, where'd it go? Okay, there. Is. Uh, is there any reason why this couldn't be a platform for any museum or even to create exhibits at that at cross museum? Um, so we first partnered up with Wienlug and we intended to build this project for Wienlug, but we also left some room so that it's like basically just a template or the foundation to start this project. And it could also be like for any museum actually, but this is just like a general foundation and like prototype ideas for the, the museums. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Josephine, are you still here or do you want me to take the next one? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Um, so uh, the next question is, you mentioned using the system for storytelling. Could you uh, tell me more about how you envisioned that working? So for storytelling, um, we did mention that people will be able to add their own custom artifacts and um, create their theme rooms. So we we're thinking like, if you had a theme room, there's probably a story behind it or a reason behind it. And um, there was um, a lot of resources from me and Luke. They had like this, your story, our story thing where users um, tell about stories related to their family history or individual history. And we thought if you could do that, then why not bring your own artifacts, create a room with a certain theme in a certain story about the person himself. And um, yeah, that was the idea, which is add your own artifacts and story in that. Awesome. I think the next question is, um, what museum experiences did you research to flesh out your idea? This reminds me of things I saw while living abroad in Europe. That's cool. <laughs> Um, well, we researched um, quite a lot of museums. Pretty much all the virtual museums is like Googled up what are the current virtual museums there is because we wanted to research the current market and current approaches that other museums are making. And um, I don't know, it was just thinking about when we were looking at the other museums, we were like thinking, it's all this 360 views or just posts. So there wasn't anything interactive. And um, we just thought, what if you just build your own museum? There's like no limit. You could like build like a huge like castle or something like that. And there are all kinds of artifacts that are actual artifacts. And it's also a different way of preservation. So, um, there's a lot of potential on the online space right now with museums, and we're also seeing that. Awesome. Oh, so um, did your group consider or think about going the uh, going to the AR direction with this project? Um, the funny thing is that one of our earlier iterations of the project was an AR based project. It was on like a mobile app or not exactly an app, but a application for to use on your phone and um, use augmented reality to showcase the exhibit within your 
own room and you could just like look around and see the exhibit as if you're within the exhibit. And um, we look further into that and with the current technology, there is some difficulties because like um, there isn't that many smartphones that have a technology called LIDAR, which is like a laser sensor. Um, only the current like newer phones have it and that allows people to do augmented reality in a more accurate way. But um, if we do it right now with the current phones, it would look like the artifacts are floating around and stuff like that. So yeah, the idea was kind of scrapped. Awesome.